So this one's a demo, so I'm gonna count it as an indie because I'm lazy. Welcome to Savior. It looks interesting. Yeah, you definitely got that kind of Japanese horror vibe going on already. Hold on, my controller is just not reading properly, which is fun. So give me two seconds. Yep. Find out what's going on. There we go. That was very odd. You stop reading, my friend. It might just be the weather and everything messing with it. Fuck me, that's loud. Let's uh, let's lower that a little bit. <laughs> Is this an RPG maker game? Looks like it. Yeah. Somebody actually suggested this one. Warhammer. I we could talk Warhammer Fleming, but I I don't know enough about Warhammer to be useful. I'm uh, mainly a novice, even though I've been ripping through most of the games. Let's see. Where where is this? I can feel the gaze somewhere. Was it because of that dream? First, I need to look around here. Okay, so you can't use the controller at all? I did all that work for nothing. Uh, well, I mean, we could maybe be able to use it for another game. Um. Um. So can you not move? No, no, I cannot. What if you hit escape or menu? Doesn't do anything. Huh. Okay, menu works. Uh, uh, okay, so. Why Z do I only move when I use menu? I don't know. That's actually kind of funny. I think that might be a glitch. Should we try restarting the game? Maybe. It's possible you could have already run into a glitch. World record. Okay, give me a second. Hold on. Before we do that, let me see if I can fix something. And share the screen with you. Give me one second. Yep. Oh, come on, game. This is a very, very buggy game. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, because I've, I've played around with an RPG maker a little bit, like, sometimes it is hard to make them, to make the sprites and stuff do what you want them to do. Okay. Alright, so you're still stuck in the room. And that comes up. Okay. Okay, there Maybe we go. Have... All right. Okay, so it literally did glitch. <laughs> Diary of previous inmates. Sure. I finally found a way out of this damn place. There's an elevator in what they call Corridor 4, and you can use that elevator to go upstairs. I don't know how far it's connected, but at least it would be better than here. I need to implement my escape plan tonight. Unless, yeah, you're in a base purple. Unless you're in a basement, should you be going down to escape? It's purple. Purple is a save. Good purple. Good thing purple got a day job. It's dark, so I can't see it well. Ugh, what is this, what is this smell? Uh, well, there's a blood stain. You know what? I don't think I want to go that way. Um. Did something go into that vent? I think it did. That wasn't a bad effect, actually. It's an open vent. Where are they connected? I wonder if I can climb into it. Oh my god. Oh, you can move it. Oh, okay. That's cool. Uh, Alright, so now you can get to a different room and explore. Do you want to read this one? Yeah, sure. Seems that a long time has passed since I started my research. I thought that there was no such thing as compassion for the sacrifice, but recently I'm being overwhelmed by strange feelings. 
Whenever I see a sacrifice, I feel something like an unknown homogeneity. When you make sacrifices to the barriers or experiment with them, you feel like a strange sense of immorality. Is it because you are tired of work? I'm going to say some of the translations are a little wonky so far. Yeah, is this, is this being translated from, like, Japanese? Yeah, I believe it is. Okay. I believe the person okay. who sent it to me said it is. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense then. There is a hammer over here. Will having it help me? They try to get the hammer. Out of reach of my hand. Uh, can I push this? Maybe? Say up like the second shelf! She very short. Fuck you, bitch. Climb. <laughs> I've had to climb shelves. So have I. Many, many times. Your turn. We have succeeded in expelling the tyrant by borrowing the power of another great being, but it is not over yet. In order to maintain the barrier to hide us from the tyrant, we must sacrifice his descendants. Okay. How long will it last? Um, we're not really talking about Warhammer right now, Flaming, and you can't put links in there. Sorry, you'll have to put it in the Discord. There was also one request from us by the great being who helped us. That's right. The following content has been lost. Somebody sent me this because it's going to get Lovecraftian, isn't it? I mean, it's already a little bit creepy, although the, uh, the shadowing effect... I wish when you went someplace it would just continue to have it lit up. That would be nice. Like a fog of war type thing. Well, it is still being worked on, so... Yeah, no, I'm just saying. I, I mean, it probably has something to do with the mechanic. Maybe the mechanics in the game as well. Because it might be one of those things where, like, you come back to a room later and mm -hmm. something else has happened or changed. Because I know you can do triggering events in can I run RPG you? Maker. Yes, you can. It seems like it's happy. Oh, there you go. One. Can I move it? You can move oh, that. Can. Uh oh, puzzle. People there say I'm go. not good at puzzle games. Well, that's the thing, though, is it didn't move when you pushed it the other way. So, well, it is a demo. All right, now you got a sledgehammer. Got the hammer. People need to stop DMing me. What the fuck is going nuts in my, my fucking text messages? Mm -hmm. I know it's not you, and I know it's not Web. Web's too busy having fun on Twitter. Is it people telling you that Web is having too much fun on Twitter? Let me find out. Give me a second. Where's my phone? <laughs> Where did I put my phone? Oh, God. I need longer headphones. There it is. I'm gonna kill whoever keeps... Oh, I know what's going on. I'm gonna mute it. What happened? Um, because of the storm, my camera for my front door and back door keeps going in and out. Oh, so you have that linked up to that? Yeah, it's supposed to let me know if somebody's coming or something like that. And because of the storm, it just keeps turning on and off, on and off because of the Wi-Fi and stuff. Um, so. Yeah. At least it tells me. The one in the front door has been a little janky, though. Mm. There's a corpse. Q, are you okay? Looks like she's dead. For the girl is holding a drop in her hand. Would you like to take the drop? Sure. I'm sorry. Got a drop. Lord save this soul. What, what the fuck is a drop? LSD? A bell. Bell filled on the wrist of the girl. Oh, it's not a drop. It's a bell. Okay. Was that like a placeholder or something? Because they didn't know what it was going to be until they installed it. I'm thinking. They really need to work on the translation. Oh, yeah, because it's a drop. It's a literal drop. I, I don't like this. I'm not going over. I got to go over there, don't I? Oh, you could also go in the uh, air vent that appears to be filled with blood. Oh, you got fucking murdered. Well. Okay. That happened. I wasn't expecting it to just immediately kill you. Aw, oh, damn it. Uh, now you gotta go and get in the tunnel again. 
That was definitely interesting, but this is gonna be one of those games where ah oh, fuck, where everything kills. Yeah. Me. Yeah, it's a little janky. By the that way, sorry be... if you guys hear my keyboard. I have a mechanical one. That might just be the uh, the sprite box and stuff. The way that that works out, where sometimes you'll catch it and sometimes you won't. I wonder if it falls through the hole in the floor. Like a Pokemon map or something. Give me a second. Uh, sorry, it was a dev friend of mine that was letting me know he's home from the hospital. Ah, yeah, good he came home. Yeah, heart problems. Yeah, that sucks. I'd rather not lose another person right now, honestly. Now, you know what? I, I've learned enough to know multiple saves. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So, I'm gonna guess if I go straight, I'm gonna get shot in the face. Let's find out. Hey there, hey. buddy! Let's be friends! I promise I'm normal. Oh god, bye. Uh-oh. Should become a monster. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well... Did he uh, leave you the gun? Yes, I will. Okay, Look at that you got a lightning card. Alright, so that means you can do... Something. Uh, can you get... Oh, I forgot there you to get go. the bell right. back. <laughs> the, I do like the art. Yeah, I mean, I think this stuff actually comes stock usually with uh, with the program, but it's, it's usually pretty good. Let's see what the ID card looks like. Yeah, that's stock. I think. I don't know if that's stock with the program, but I know like the character sprites are. Oh, cool! Look, you can see her holding it. Or I think she's holding. Oh, that's neat. It. Yeah. Uh, maybe. What's Let's let's not go near that door over there. The ID card is dirty and cannot be recognized. So wipe it off. You gotta wash it, I guess, somewhere. Wait, there's a. I remember there's a sink over in the. Nope, not going near that room again. Sink back in your room. There you go. That's a neat little puzzle. Is no, just okay. expecting that thing to move? Maybe it will eventually. Or maybe it'll disappear. Oh god, what is it? No! I can't throw it. Through a drop. What the fuck? Was it, okay. Was it the. That was the bell? Yeah. And then yeah. the ceiling collapsed on him? Um. All hell the. Drop? The magical bell? I would guess if I hadn't picked that up, bad things would have happened. Probably, yeah. That was okay, that was a little strange. Now the tunnel's blocked off. Oh, yeah, that just, that looks like your way out on the right. Dirty traitors. Although I disappear from this place, my brothers will bring back the true ruler. Your false world will face ruin. Great father, forgive me for my failure. Yeah, they're definitely trying to do a Lovecraft thing. I'm not opposed to this. No, it's not too bad so far. Unless you just take the hammer and smash through the wall. Oh, uh-oh. No. <laughs> what the fuck? It just uses the bed and crushes his fucking head in. <laughs> purple, purple will not, not be fucked with. No. No, oh, he, he's he, he's a real motherfucker. He'll kill people. <laughs> he only likes the he only likes uh, McQueen and Dooley, apparently. I mean, to be honest, when I made the character sheet, I did give him the highest strength. Somebody needs to play purple. Oh, we It'll need happen. to get someone to play purple. It'll happen eventually. I I, I love purple. I legitimately. I'll try and convince it. Kane to do it because he wants in on the next one. Oh, you know the um, monster, I think it's Monster from the Other World that I got, I showed you, or I showed it to you that I got it at Spooky Empire, it's the monkey body with the with the skull and the thing. 
the guys mm-hmm. that are making that were making a um, tentacle plushie, right? It's just the tentacle arm, and it's like five foot long. It got burned up in a um, somebody got the um, truck that had their whole shipment and burned it up. Oh, that sucks. I'm like, I wanted to buy that. <laughs> That's the point of lighting it on fire. Oh god, know, but, like tentacle. all of their merch was completely destroyed. And apparently, it's not the first time. It's it's been happening a lot lately. It's weird. Like nothing's stolen at all. Some weirdo that likes to fucking light shit on fire. Oh god, run. So does it just go up and down the corridor? Is this oh I know what kind of game this is. I figured it uh, out. Okay, yep. <laughs> yeah, let's follow the ghost girl. This can only end well. Whoop, we're gonna die. Bitch, I don't know you. <laughs> yep, yep, nope, it. you're dead as fuck. You're dead as fuck. I knew it! I knew it, I love this type of game. <laughs> It's just like you make a mistake, you are now dead. This is you can tell this is a Japanese game. They don't have they don't have no chill. Oh, this actually makes me think of something very fun for a one shot. Oh, you got it is giving you ideas? Uh not for the main main thing, but this gives me man, maybe a side quest, but this gives me an idea for a one shot where you may you literally you just make a gauntlet of death. And not not like the one I did before where they were like fighting creatures and stuff like that. It's like you walk down a hallway and if you step in the wrong spot, then something happens and you have to try and survive it. And the whole goal is to try and survive until the end of the corridor. And if anybody makes it, then they win and they escape or they die like that. <laughs> I kind of want to see, you know what? Ah, uh, what is it? We can do something like that. That would be fun. Like do a whole, it would be fun to do a full, full on horror campaign. Yeah, the only problem is keeping people alive in a full-on car campaign. It would have to be relatively short. I wish I wish Arch would finish the idea for the RPG, or for the tabletop. Oh, you fucker, you change where the rock goes. <laughs> Why are there rocks floating down a hallway? Um, it's not Indiana Jones. Be, because... The Elder Gods have a sense of humor. Come on, wouldn't you be bored sleeping for that long? Yeah, but I figured I'd, I'd eventually just start doing more fucked up things to people than crushing them with boulders. I mean... They won't see it coming. Fuck you! Keep them on one fucking side. <laughs> Dick! You got it. I can't believe I survived. I'm gonna save like a motherfucker. Oh, there's, there's something in there. I don't like this. How do we get out of this? Oh, okay, there we go. I gotta get used to the controls. There's an X that's literally right there. It's just asking you to step on it. Just read it. Mutant B24 Experimental Log. After one year of de- administration of DH3, DH235 to the subject and inflicting extreme pain, it began to mutate. And it was really, really pissed. The mutant is in the form of a tentacle with a spackled pattern. It has black horns at the tips of its tentacles. You just oh described. Oh my god! They did it it as a, purple. Yeah, yeah, they did. Also, is this now reminding you a little bit of SCP? Yeah, I was thinking that right when I saw the guy with the gun. As they approached for investigation, that showed high aggression. As they approached for investigation, that showed high aggression and attacked two researchers. This mutant does not react to minerals and appears to be sensitive to human flesh. After showing aggression once, it is silent for about three hours. Then it won't shut the fuck up. We mark an X in the attack range of the mutant and threw the bait before the experiment to stabilize the mutant and proceeded experiment. There was a sentence there. Yeah, there was a sentence there. It was kind of like a Yoda sentence, but it was there. <laughs> Writer, Dr. J. This is an SCP. He's a, he's a basketball player, damn it. Well, he needed another job after he retired. <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah, well, there you go. At least you saved before that. <laughs> I think you're just trying... You're, at this point, we're just trying to find out how many different ways this game can actually kill us. Oh god, no. Well, if this is any other type of Japanese game, worse things would happen. Yeah. 
Oh, there's still tentacles painted on the wall in blood, and it looks like another note. About the Great One. We do not know exactly what great beings are. However, what is certain is that their mental dimensions is far above humans, and humans suffer damage to the extent that their minds are disrupted just by trying to recognize them. Yep, full on Lovecraft. There is no way to harm them unless they are- Oh my god, is that supposed to be one of either Dagon or Cthulhu's tentacles? It's possible. I mean, it's definitely- it seems like it's being implied. It could even be one of Yogg-Shagoth's. And either- well, if it's yogg well, yeah, no, if it's yogg they would be absolutely mindless, basically, wouldn't they? Mm. It can be said that beings itself- that the being itself is a disaster for mankind. It is presumed that there was a great extinct ex exis existence existence. I can say words too many s's who rule the earth in the past, but it cannot be found at present. Well, yet yeah. fucking found one of his tentacles. It would definitely want to see. I would definitely want to see it with the scholar's inquiry spirit. But for mankind, it would be very good. No, it would not. No. What 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 good will this solve, man? You can dedicate your time to other things that result in less death. Well, they're doing the Lovecraft thing about the scholar basically fucking everybody. Oh god damn it, not again. I have a boulder with your name on it, asshole. Okay. Oh, he just stopped. Is he still there? Uh nope. Okay. So at least we know that if you run back into the hallway, they reset the encounter. That's probably still gonna murder you. Yeah, I need bait. Where the fuck do I find bait? It's probably what's sitting at the door right there. They said it threw it there, so you need to find some way to... Uh, maybe you're supposed to try and lure the zombie onto the X? This is gonna be a bad idea. Alright, looks like it's still... Come and get me, bitch! Uh, is, he not, is he not there? Uh, uh, bitch? He, 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 he spawned- oh, it's a, you know what it was? He has it programmed as a one-time encounter. So you, you just exited the encounter so it didn't reset. I'm good at games. Well, that's the other thing, too. If you're actually supposed to lure him onto that X, you might have just fucked yourself. I'm good at games. You wanna this experiment- No, oh, do you want me to read it? No, you want to read it? This experiment is crazy. I didn't know I was going to do this before I entered the lab, but... Even if you ask about the purpose of the experiment, the answer is silent. Dr. J must be a demon. Or an asshole. There's no way a human mind can do this. I don't know. You can talk to Herbert. You can pick up a history book. The human mind is capable of some pretty fucked up shit. Um, incinerator. Humans are between 800 and 1,000 degrees. Two hours and so two hours incineration. You're in a crematorium. Yep. Also, sometimes it takes longer. I found that out, and I wish I had. Mutant humans require incineration at 1,500 degrees or more for three hours or more. Jesus. You know that's gonna kill us, right? Tough motherfuckers. Shall we see oh, how what, we die? Oh, what, fire? The fire? Why did the- wait, why did the fire move to the other ear? What the hell? The incinerator is running. Would you like to turn off the incinerator? Yeah, let's do a bad idea. Uh, and there's probably a demon sp oh, what is that? Uh, sure. Alright, you have a skull. Neat. I'm just gonna walk out of here. Go make a save, hope I didn't fuck everything over. We know well, I you, did. You, you still have the other one who's in the room to the left that you might be able to lure. Come here, buddy. Nope. Oh. Or you can do what you did with the first one and you can lure him out and then immediately run to the hallway and despawn him. That's what I was thinking of doing, but the, he's actually faster than you are. Not that fast. Oh, come on, he did it? <laughs> oh! Okay! So that- so you were right!
I can't that believe was neat. I did that. That was neat. I was expecting you to die. So was I. I was like, wow, we actually have like our first screen our first scene for a death and then boom. That was cool. Okay, so well I'm assuming he's there's the demon spawn or whatever the hell it is. Okay. I guess you can Got blooded memo. Alrighty then. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> I mean, I know that the building that we're in is is filled with horrible fucking monsters and they carved an F on the floor. Voice messages executed. Alpha, beta, all assembled in front of the bulkhead. Shit crazy. Everyone evacuate there. What happened? The jailer's crazy the jailer's crazy bastard locked the door. It doesn't even open with a gun. Sorry, I'm sorry. Run away. What what is that? A sound like a baby's unidentified is heard. Yippee Wilson, yippee help. Sound is cut off. What the fuck did I just read? <laughs> My favorite thing is some That's not a conversation. A that's a, a failed gun. That's not a conversation. That's a failed ad lib. 20 XX 12.09 1930 hundred uh, 1930 hours replenishment sender Derrett Bolat. Just read the just read the message. Ten humans with factory supplementary wind in the sacrifice use. All those who do not meet the factor are replaced with the test subject. Alrighty uh, then. Okay. Would you like to kick the trash can? Let me Should go save really first. Kick the trash can just a gremlin comes out and eats your face off. I, I'm not going to admit that would actually make me really happy. It would be amusing. I mean, it would, the, the boulder itself was amusing. Yeah, kick the fucking trash can. Where's my right. fucking gizmo? I was promised a gremlin. Damn, Lovecraftian yeah. bullshit. I want my gremlin. Well, gremlins aren't exactly Lovecraftian. and It's just a weird invention. <laughs> I mean, have you content. seen them? Yeah, I mean, they, they could definitely spoof it. Alright, so you need a four-digit code. Did I miss anything here? Addition personal interview results. There are no health problems other than vitamin D deficiency. However, the anxiety and pounding in my heart that I still feel still do not stop. It's like a wild beast approaching me right in front of me. Are the ghosts of people who have died so far tormenting me? I think I should consult a Dr. J. Something is wrong with this. Even the medicine the Dr. J gives doesn't work at all. How is this feeling? Something. Something is coming. I have to get out of here right now. I don't know what I'm fucking saying anymore. There's there's so many fucking, like, conjunctions and shit that are missing from these sentences. Like, there's, they, the I Japanese, can tell what they're saying. The Japanese don't use those. So I okay, hope when this comes out, this is how it's completely translated. Yeah, like, like that's the thing. If you're gonna do the uh, the actual like English translations, get somebody who's a native English speaker and have them have them translate it into actual you know readable English. It's a piece of paper drawn on something. Uh, so we're we, it's a piece of paper, but it's drawn on. It's a picture it, of paper drawn on something. Yeah, and there's tentacles on it as usual. Uh, well, there's an F on the corners, and there's an F in the room. Maybe we have to move things. Maybe, but it, it lists pieces of furniture that don't look like they're in the the room right now because it's like a couch I am and a, a chair. Little girl, I am not gonna, oh, wrong button. Journal audit report. It has been confirmed that operatives have recently infiltrated the organization. They look like people from some pseudo religious group, but I don't know what their purpose is. As a result of grasping the circumstances, the infiltration has been carried out since the past. Okay. And it is assumed that there is a traitor inside the organization, as it seems to have easily penetrated our security net. If you see a suspicious person, ask the crew to report it to the top immediately. Do yeah, you the count as a suspicious fail. person? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? Why did it do that? You just walked next to a bookcase. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting that. Neither I was, was not I. expecting that. 
That's fucking that amazing. Expected? What the hell? Okay. All right, so you have the F, and then what else is on that sheet? Because I think I saw, like, a couch and a table. Yeah, okay, so there's a table, a book, a couch, and a chair. And the letter F. For failure. Uh, well, just don't mm. walk near the bookcase again. You're going to have to probably kick over the trash can again. Any of those books maybe you can pick up? No. That was a note. I know the truth of this world. The beings of filthy blood were the descendants of the true rulers of this world. And I, too, were the descendants of a great ruler. The reason I have felt the loneliness in the past is because I was different from others. Now I can understand the irrational oppression and inequality of this world. The domination of the unqualified led to this twist. Nigga, what? Is that <laughs> is that a social message? <laughs> Seems like it. Which one was it that crushed me? Oh, well, they, hang on a sec. There's your chair. Uh, if you walk in the center of that, that's that's where it crushed you. Okay. I'm trying to see if I can move things. I can't react to it. Yeah, it looks like there's a chair and a book, and that was something that was on there. I don't know, maybe you'll find something further down the hallway? I don't trust this fucking game. Wait, how, does it say how open it? Okay, how, how to. How to open it. They actually did right do that one correctly. Okay, we did that already. Yeah, yeah you did that. That's your note. Well, what's the uh, what's the sign that's on the wall there? Can you read that? The one where the trash can was? Nope. The little red one? Mm -mm. Oh. Hmm. Let me... Uh... Maybe it's somewhere else. Let's try going back to the other room. Yeah, I'm gonna that, have to end no. up moving shit, aren't I? You know what? I'm actually kind of surprised one of these doesn't open and grab me. Yeah, maybe that's something later. There's a, just a mound of what looks like, you know, human body parts. I want a reanimator game. The only question is, like, how would you how would you actually do that in terms of like making gameplay, unless you just made like a visual novel? I'm not opposed to that. Neither am I, but I'm just saying if you're gonna if you're gonna make a game out of it, I'm just trying to think of like if you were gonna do like something with like actual mechanics instead of just a storytelling implement. Yes, I'm joined with Dooley tonight. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. A role I will be synonymous for. I I still don't get it. Mm. Yeah. I, I don't really understand it either. Hmm, let me check something again. Wonder if it'd be twenty. What is the uh well I know you need four Let's try eight two four one. This would be yeah, so stupid say, if this works. It would, yeah, but it's possible. Yeah, eight two four one. Nope. Oh, hey, I'm surprised it didn't kill me. Yeah, actually, now that you mentioned that. Oh, is, it, is that a different one? Yeah, there's two of them. Oh. Chapter two. Hide, Hide the wires and eat their flesh. You want to read? Oh, you can read it. It's up to you. Go for it. Purify the fallen sanctuary, sanctuary to prepare a new temple where the great will return. Oh, don't worry. We'll be playing Phasmophobia again, because I, I want to try the new map and the new ghosts. Yeah, the new map, I guess, is supposed to be a smaller one, and they have two new ghosts from, like, uh, Japanese folklore, I believe. I've heard Japanese and I've heard Malaysian. Maybe it's Malaysian, too. I didn't really actually look up where they come from. I just saw the names. Yeah, that's the vitamin D deficiency, so we saw that one already. I can't figure out the code. Durandar, help us. Is there any, are there any rooms further down the hallway? I mean, 
the only other one over there is the one that's gonna it has that no the, like sticker. down below can you go any further down no, or is that it uh, the rock thing oh. actually now that that bitch yeah. is gone <laughs> nope 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 no, run i can it's an automatic it's an automatic kill fuck maybe you missed something back in the original area or can you go maybe up the hallway Nope. Okay. I love this sound effect. <laughs> I'm just the, the chick getting splattered with the rock. Hmm. The Hantu and Yokai are the new ghosts, which are interesting. Yep. The map has no closets to hide in. Oh, fuck that noise. Yeah, yeah, I'm never the, going the in map, that house. The map is designed to uh, have you hide behind furniture. We can do that now? I think that it, because it breaks the ghost's line of sight, I think you can now. I Because the furniture is never transparent when you're a ghost. It's just the doors and stuff are. Yeah, but the ghosts have always been able to automatically find you when you're hiding behind furniture. Trust me, I've done it. It's possible that maybe that map in particular utilizes that effect a bit more. Because they have been adding a lot of updates to it. And the guy said he just like expanded the team. The people that were working on it, so oh, he's got like a two people. He finally got some more people. Okay. Yeah, um, he he finally he finally caved, and he has like a uh, he has a guy that's handling like the hot fixes and stuff, I think, and another guy who's helping him with like the programming and bugs. Oh, and I was trying to see if there's a if there's a guide, but nobody's talked about this yet, and I don't. I want to do the whole thing. I'm pretty sure it is oh, wait, live right now. Somebody's asked for what the password is. Ask where it is? For this, because a lot of people are having problems with this. Hmm. It's hard to guess what the password is. I've got a bloody memo with a picture of a chair table and a sofa and the letter F. If it's the clue that... Okay, yeah, a lot of people are having a problem with this. Yeah, so we... And the so developer we... oh. is not letting anyone put the answer? Oh, wait, somebody did it. Thank you to that person. Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> are complaining it's really hard to figure out. I can see the F. And there's a chair over there with a book on it. I'm going to fully admit I just cheated. I don't blame you. So where does this number come from? I don't know. That's the thing. People were trying to figure it out. Supposedly, I guess you're supposed to count how many books and everything there are in here. Oh, that's what it is. So you have to count the number of chairs, the number of books. That's why you have to tip over the trash can. So it's the number of chairs, the number of books, and the letter F. So each one of those items represents a number that's to be counted up. Yeah, they need to do a better job explaining what that is, because most people are not going to get that. Yeah, I think the developers, from what I saw the responses, I don't think... English isn't their first language. So I think it's just a trial and error of them learning things. It's a seating bench, it's not a couch. Okay. Okay. That's right, where we're getting sword. thrown off. There's a sword. This feels like a trap. I sh I'm, 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 I'm gonna read that in a minute. I'm gonna go say it like a motherfucker. You are a smart person. Purple, come here, purple. Good purple. I will get a tentacle plushie if they have one. It's spooky. Oh, what? Those guys are gonna be there? Yep, they're gonna be there again. So nice. You can get a, you can get a creature figure like I did. I got the, <laughs> I got the one of the lowest number ones. I got it like a number seven. Out of 150. Ooh. He just let me pick one. Neat. Yeah, they're also doing, um... Ah, uh, what is it? The the Corman one about the giant bird. Oh, um, Q the Wing Serpent? Yeah, they're doing... No, no, that, that's like... Not uh, Q, um, the other one. About the giant bird I'll have to Corman send you their. Did. I'll have to send you their Instagram. They, they've got a picture of it. They did a bunch of them. You'll recognize, because they do a lot of old old horror, obscure horrors, you'll recognize a bunch of the figures they're working on. Because I named a couple of them at the con and they were impressed. And I was just like, I like, I like, uh, B-horror. Let's see, this is the email sent by a jailer to somebody. Okay, can I read it? Creature from the Haunted Sea. Oh, Galaxy of Terror. There we go. Jace, the Center Research Center, has already become a monster everywhere. 
The experiment seems to have ended in failure. I should have blocked Dr. J's project. If these monsters go outside, the world will be in chaos. I'm sorry for the survivors of the lab, but I will close the central lab and confine the monsters here. I ask for my family and the families of the victims. Oh, it's a security camera. That's cool. That's gonna move. Uh, at some point, I would assume. Uh, sure. Oh, you, okay, so that's where you put the skull. Alright. There's a button. Yes, this is a bad idea. We just released it, didn't we? Do you want to press the button? Uh, you did something, because I'm pretty sure there isn't... There's no longer a door there. Yeah. Test subject 1007 profile. You can read it. Subject serial number 1007. Name Stella. Sex female. Age 15 years old. Estimated. Uniqueness orphan. The orphanage that brought the specimen in presumed to be a facility operated by a cult who works against our organization. We're enemies, but here you go. You can have our orphan. Here you go. Here, you can have all the orphan meat you want. This is a profile of me. What the hell were the were you trying to do on me? Were you trying to do on me? Oh no, it's not that kind of game. Please Wait, God, no. HP. Did you see that? I think I did, yeah. Can I have the sword? I think I'm gonna need it in about a few seconds when we leave yeah, this room. No, that would definitely be a good idea to be able to take that off the wall. That's kind of bullshit that I don't let you do that. Why is okay. That, I don't like any of this right now. So, yeah. Save like a mother. Okay. Uh, is this the room? Well, that's the one. Okay, you're smart. She's like, no, fuck that. I know what's gonna happen. Wasn't there... Fuck. Okay. I don't like this. Oh, Jesus Christ, what no! The, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, no I don't, I don't think he could get through that. Out the Great One 2. Great One have no concept of human good or evil. They only move according to their desires. Some individuals want to dominate a world while others simply stand by. Their types are diverse, and even between them, there are superiority and inferiority. I mean... Okay. Sounds like what we're planning to do with the... I'm gonna shut the fuck up right now. Oh, God! Nope, he's dead. He's, he's dead as fuck. Mutant C-17 Experimental Log. Experiments with adult specimens have yielded poor results, such as ending at the level of loss of reason in general. It was hip, hip, it was hypothesized. Thank you. That adults with full physical growth did not receive the effects of DH-235 properly. The experiment with subjects within 10 months of age. Sino caption? As a result Sorry. of the... Go ahead. Syncopathy, I think is what it said. Oh. As a result of the experiment, it achieved rapid growth and enormity at a level not previously observed. In the process of growth, the skin turned purple and the strength of the it really is becoming purple. Oh. See, I thought that was just a very long dick joke. How did he end up in the toilet is what I want to know. Mm -hmm. I mean, whenever you have a general... I mean, in Florida, it doesn't that happen whenever you guys have a pet that gets too big? You just flush it down the toilet? I thought that was New York only. Wait, is that where the gator thing was? Was New York? Yeah, I always thought it was somewhere in Florida. There was a rumor that there were gators in the um, sewers. Yeah, yeah because the they, were, they were, were just outside. Maybe gators. Yeah, because people would, would buy... You used to be able to buy legally baby gators, and people would flush them. Apparently, there really were them in, in the sewers, from what I've heard. Yeah, didn't they have, like, evidence that they were eating homeless people or something? 
I mean, it gets rid of the problem. It, it's, look, it's either have, it's either that or the pigeons or the rats. Because if you've never seen the size of the pigeons in that place, they're about the size of a barn owl. I don't know. I know. Those motherfuckers get fat. They're, through the scare, it was confirmed. Or through this case, I was reading the chat. It was confirmed that the younger the age, the higher the experiment expression of drug effects. Well, yeah, let's give kids drugs and see what happens. It is recommended to further lower the age range of the subject in the future. Dr. J's a dick. I, yeah, I just knew him as a guy that played for the Philadelphia 76ers. You want to play him? Wait, you! Yeah. Okay, I am normal. Don't be scared. I love the lines in this game. Monsters are running around in this facility right now. You have to get out of this place as quickly as possible. No shit. There is an elevator at the end of this hallway. I don't go to the ground at once. But I can go upstairs. Go ahead and go to the elevator. I rush it. Hold on. Fucking grammar. Oh, it's just Akbar. Who? Who is you? <laughs> it's like that Spider-Man porn game I did. Do you know well about this place? I am a researcher doing research here. I have no choice but to know well about this place. Everyone welcomes you as Mad Dooley Mike. <laughs> Please tell me, why am I here? I'm sorry. Now I can only say that it's because of some kind of experiment. That's Dr. J, I bet. Hey, it's not the time you're doing this. <laughs> Come on, you have to go to the elevator. Bitch, move along. How about you? I have to find out if there are more survivors left. Saving people is the only atonement I can do right now. What the fuck do you mean by atonement, sir? You know what? Screw it. Good luck. Oh god, it's Chloe Kardashian's abortion. <laughs> oh god, this is really, really it's the, it's the It's the baby from RE8. I was about to make that joke. Oh my god, this thing controls like ass for this level. See, that was the funny part about that, about that game, is when they do that section, I think I was the only person that, that I talked to out of everybody that played it that didn't like freak out and just laughed at it. It was funny as shit. I... I... I made a joke just before that, and I can't remember if people clipped it, but I made a joke about wire hangers, and the chat got really, really oh. mad at me. God, yeah. Why a wire coat hanger and a bottle of bleach with a garden hose? You went far beyond the joke I did. Uh oh, I oh, I, 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 I said one about Stevie Mix once that was horrible. <laughs> the elevator for the baby oh god hi stab it i don't know what button i would buy would, it, it, would it an elevator like... still work at that point i mean yeah you just bashed in the doors oh thanks for playing the demo okay uh i mean you just bashed in the doors and it might still it can probably still move up and down it depends on if the the, the doors are like, because uh, there's usually two sets of them. It depends on if, like, the second set of doors is, like, jammed it in place. I kind of like that one. I'm not going to lie. Just the inner doors, though, you might be able to still move up and down. That was a thing that exists. Yeah, that was a fun little thing. I like the, I like the uh, environment and the atmosphere. The little puzzle things were kind of interesting, although that fucking thing with the paper and the F, though, they need to be a bit more clear about that. Yeah. Let's see, not that one. Did you know they found that shit out by some guy just sitting there and trying all those fucking combos? I like the the, the dev the devs like if you look at the if you look at it on, on the support thing on Steam or the discussions page, 
He's like, sorry, I can't spoil. I can't spoil. And somebody at the very bottom just gives the code, like, go fuck yourself. Yep. Because you, you know that was the dude that did it. He went through all those fucking combos. Can we call that man a hero? Yes, we can. He's a at hero. Least, at, least, at least for the hours that he spent shifting through that. Can you tell a lot of devs keep sending me Lovecraftian games? Yeah, I just said. I I like I'm not going to lie, I actually like being known for this. It's better than the porn. Let's see. All right, here's a puzzle game we can try called Summertime Madness. And you're good at puzzle games. Yeah, relatively. You're usually better at them, at, at them than I am. It depends on the type. If it's an abstract puzzle, I can figure it out. If it's like a um, forward-thinking one, I for some reason my brain just can't figure it out. And if it's a math one, we're all fucked. Yeah, I'm not terrible at it. <laughs> Summertime Madness. This looks a lot like... Um... Did you ever play... And this it was ironically, it was another puzzle game. It was called The Witness. I believe I did a Let's Play of that, and the, the new DLC came out for it, didn't it? I have no idea. I haven't kept up with that game. It was free on Xbox like three years ago, and I picked it up. I think I, I did, forget. but I can't remember because I've done so many games. I forget what guy did it. He did like a famous puzzle game before that, and I can't remember who it was. This is, this is the problem with my memory. I, there is a puzzle game I like that's about a baby, about a little tiny kitty cat. The city Prague, of Prague was July a siege, oh, ravaged no, no, no. by war. Buildings were falling, churches were burning, and everything was to be washed away. The painter lived there, isolated from the outside world. The worse the terrors of war became, the more the artist obsessively painted beautiful landscapes as a contrast to the evil he had witnessed. One night, a mysterious figure appeared in the house, seemingly out of nowhere. The stranger walked slowly around the room. He then sat down in front of the artist to offer him a deal. The chance to enter one of his own creations, far away and free of war but he would have to find his way back out before midnight, or else his soul would become trapped in the canvas forever. Feeling alone, on the edge of madness, the artist shook the mysterious man's hand, accepting the deal. A few moments later, the house was empty. Don't make a deal with Satan. But he has such a spiffy purple suit and top hat. True. You have six hours to beat the game. The game will auto save upon reaching a checkpoint. Oh my god, do they actually do that? Mm -hmm. Hey look, it's the CGI dust from uh, Herbert West. It looks good here. <laughs> Also, the screen just went black for me. Is there still yeah, something there? Loading up. Okay. Oh, I threatened Bosco. I told him to watch the movie, then tell me why the hell Italian directors can't make a coherent movie. Uh, because they don't actually have writers. The only decent writer in Italy was Dardano Sarchetti. Someone reanimate his ass. We need him. No, he's alive. He teaches film at the University of Rome. Can he start teaching writing, please? Or sorry, no, sorry. He teaches screenwriting classes. I call bullshit after watching that. I didn't say that he was a good teacher. <laughs> yeah, that or the student's just really bad. Okay, so you're inside his little painting there with the trees. So I assume you got to find a way out. There's a windmill over there to your left and a cabin there. Oh, it's a cabin. No, it's a rock. For some reason, the FOV is weird. Feels like when it's moving. Is it moving smoothly on the stream? Yeah, it's just the way it looks. Because I think they're trying to do that painting thing. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can actually uh, mess with that. There's a hand. Well, at least they have an FOV slider. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which, FO which side you're supposed to do. Mm. Oh, 
I, it, it, no, I don't think that works, does it? No, I, I think it's okay. I think it might just be the aesthetic of the game. It's a little strange. It looks really pretty, I'll say that. Yeah, they did a good job with the... Oh, God, when you rotate. That's why I'm going to go screw with it. Hang on a second, actually, because I think... Like, move around again, because I'm looking on the stream. Maybe the... Maybe it's oh, just the... Oh, there we the, go. That's a lot better. I was going to say, because sometimes it's just the... Yeah, it's nice and smooth on the stream. Time flies, butterfly. Oh, it's smooth here now. Too good. Time flies, butterfly. There was a giant hand coming out of the ground up on the hill. Behind you. A little left. Yeah, see, right up there through the trees, it's a massive hand. No, thank you. Oh, oh okay. Oh, it's giving the okay symbol. Uh. I don't know. I don't want him to get kicked. Oh, okay. Steamboat? Clock. Yeah, it's a, it's a pocket, it's a pocket watch. If you're looking for a hint. You can use this clock. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, that's nice. Thank you for the sub minute. So I guess we go on to the boat. We're gonna become a black boat. and white cartoon. Boat time. All right. Looks like the boat has a bunch of puzzles on it. Stop DMing me, damn it. Hmm. Not you. So we gotta get. I can't jump. Why do games take can, my jump away? Can you, can you run up the pipe on the other side? Let's see. No, it's uh, behind you. No. These people don't know how to climb. They're artists. Apparently not. Oh. Yeah, this pipe. That's what I, I guess meant. Yes, you can. Oh, there you go. Okay. Now you have. So the wheel has a specific. That one. The second one minute. Sorry. Okay. I missed what happened. Nothing. You turned the wheel and uh, it didn't look like anything happened. So I think that it's a, it has to rest at a certain place. Oh, I, I see that... what happened. Look, the door's open. Oh. There we go. All right. Yeah, there's a wheel there. So I don't know what. Okay, so that opens and closes. Lever. I think we're just blindly doing stuff. Oh, okay. So you, so that, so that works. The the lever works. The uh, the lift there, the crane. So we need to get that. So I think if we go up here. Yep. Bingo. Okay. I'm assuming we can go up that log. Yep. Or the plank and then ding the bell. Okay. Okay, so we got that puzzle done. Now we have to figure out how to get over there. All right, now we gotta get to the, the bell that's up there. So there's a lever down there that controls that Hmm. Let me try something. What if I bring this up? Okay. It works, but how do you get back up there now? So I'm gonna go check out. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the center platform. He's gotta go back up to the regular spot. Do that raise, remember? Hmm. Now you gotta, oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah, go yeah, back I see up. What you're Smoke out a pipe. Boom. Yep, there we, we go. Are the best at puzzles. Uh, okay, so now you, can you jump? No, they don't let me jump. Huh. Jumping's illegal. So now comes the next question of the how do we get down place. to where the plank is? Hmm, I wonder if I can drop down. Uh, yep. Aha! Sweet. Fuck you, game. 
Okay. If that explains why you can climb all the way up there now. And there's a giant wind chime. I do like this. Yeah, it's got a good aesthetic to it. I like the way it looks. The puzzles so far, I mean, it's the early part of the game, but the puzzles are pretty easily solvable so far. Oh, there's a lever. There we go. What do you do, Mr. Lover? Oh, it raises and lowers that box. What box? Look to your left. On the other side of the... On the other side of... No. Towards the second bell. That one. Oh! See? It all raises and lowers that box. So, the only question is, though, is how is that supposed to... Help? Yeah, because oh, that's gives the thing. You, you... Walk around. Yeah, but that's the thing is you can... Oh, okay, so that's what it is. Um... Yeah, that's still not open yet. Hey, look, just... I fucked things up again. <laughs> I think it's closing the door. Hmm. So you have to get up to the next level there. So I need to go back and open that. My only thought was that maybe you could ride the box up, but there's really no way to pull that lever and make it there to get on the box, unless maybe you... because you, you can't jump over the railing. Yeah, there's no way to do it with the timing. Hmm. Yeah, no, you would never have a chance. Um... It's probably supposed to be up like that. Can you move that, like, second? No, actually, that never mind. That wouldn't work. Hmm. It's that red thing that was up there. A flag? Oh, it's like a, um, like a roof. Oh, okay. Fuck. Unless you can go around, like, behind it. Well, I hope you make this... Okay, if a hint is what you want. Uh, sure. 15 minutes, so you gotta fuck off for 15 minutes. Oh, that, that's why it's six hours. Yeah, we know we have to ring three bells. We just don't know how to get to the third one. You owe me 15 fucking minutes, game. I need 15 minutes of my fucking life back, damn it. Although, to be honest, if I'm asking that of a game that's really not too terrible, I've, I've asked worse of movies. Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. A giant horn? And a magical pipe? I gotta go down to the other pipe. No, 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 I don't have to go to pipe, I just have to go here. Where is steering wheel? There we go. Uh, okay. Son of a... Is it still open? Hmm. Yes, good. Can I jump down there now? Oh, you cheeky game. Let you jump in other places. Nope. That doesn't do jack and or shit. Oh, crap. So, let's try to think here. So that one's open. So there's a trick to this. Yeah. 
Maybe you have to spin these shut and then use the, the wheel that's on the second level up there. We could try that. Are they both shut? Yes. Okay. Okay, let me down. Come on. Let me up, 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 let me up. There we go. Oh, it's oh yeah, there you go. It's open now. Maybe the one up top is too. Indeed. A tiny orchestra. Uh, okay. You summoned a lighthouse. Yes, I did. Using a boat. Yes. Isn't isn't that how lighthouses come into existence? You know, if, if they did, it would be a lot bigger of an occasion. We have to collect the butterflies. Goddamn butterflies. Okay. Come on. Okay, now we're going up. You know what this actually reminds me an awful lot of? It reminds me a lot of, um, not aesthetically wise, but in terms of gameplay, it actually reminds me a lot of The Room. That's the one I was thinking of doing next. I don't know if you want to, sure. That, like I said, though, that one, it, it's a different type. It's, be it's a beautiful game, but it's a different type of art style than this, but it's the same idea, basically, for a lot of the puzzles, except it's a bit more technical. I think that's what we're going to call it on this game, but I really do actually like this game. Yeah, this was interesting. I like the way that the that this looks. And the puzzle is pretty fun. Yeah, the the game, for those that are curious, is called Summertime Madness. It's nice they give you the hint system, too. That's always a good help. Not that it helped <laughs> us much. I mean, it said ring the three bells, and we found the third bell, so... Actually, I have a demo you might like called Tor Tormented Souls. Oh, dear God. is it? Am I going to turn into one? Only if you're lucky. Then what happens if I'm unlucky? That's a better question. You go deaf probably from the sound? Yeah. Okay. I'm cool with that. Did it work? Uh, nope. I can still hear you. No, I mean, well, not, not being deaf. I mean, you can see the screen okay. Yes, I can see the screen. It looks like there's a girl in a very short skirt standing there. Explicit violence and gore. Soviet Russia, game forks you. This game looks like it's, like, old school. How old school are we talking? Because the graphics look, to me, very similar to, like, PS2 days? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, not quite blocky enough to be PS1. Oh, P-Cube. We've gotten game sent from them before. They're really nice. Actually, that look, this looks a lot sharper than it did initially. This is definitely a bit more updated graphics than PS2. I think it's, excuse me, really early in development. Yeah, it still doesn't look bad, though. I like the character model. Yeah, just stab yourself in the eye as soon as you hear the doorbell. Oh, I like her design. She a letter for me? Like I never receive letters. Who gets letters anymore? Fuck you. Other than bill collectors. From John Doe, Wildberger Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada. Oh, they're Canadian, doesn't matter. Ooh, it's a Canucksploitation game. We don't get enough of those. Okay, how do I get yeah. rid of it? The movie genre actually has a few gems that are located in it, but... <laughs> Damage photograph of two girls who appear to be twins. The damage photograph of... Okay. Okay. You, you want to read this one? Do you think you can just simply abandon us here? I if I'm lucky? Okay. 
Ooh, are okay. we doing Shutter Island? Since I received that letter from the Wildburger Hospital. Since then, I haven't been fine. I can't get out of my head the image of those little girls. I can't sleep. And when I am able to fall asleep, it's only to dream horrible nightmares. I need to know what's going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I'm going to the Wildburger Hospital in hopes of finding some answers about this strange photo. I need to know what's going on. Uh, I think that's on our list, Joe. Mm -hmm. I just haven't been able to pick it up. We're going to the Institute for the very, very nervous. <laughs> They're not insane. It's incredibly spooked easily. The I'll hairstyle is bugging me because it looks like Trinity's. <laughs> Like the messiness of it? Yeah, a little bit. Apparently it's on a boat. Okay. Oh, ghost pimp slapped you in the face. <laughs> that is a strong pimp hand. Ghost summoned all of its power. I swear to God, if I find a fucking leopard skin jacket with a hat. Nice purple satin. Totally oh, they took your kidney! Oh, God! Where is that pipe going? Yeah, titties. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's allowed on your feet. Okay. <laughs> Oh, God. Validation! Oh, Jesus. I've actually had to do that. It fucking sucks. Have you ever had a surgery to actually take out that tube? That they put in your I've only ever had one surgery in my life, and that was to get my tonsils removed. Adults remote. I know somebody that had them regrow back, which I didn't think was possible. Yeah, I have no, yeah, I think tonsils can, actually, if, if you don't take out the whole thing. Yeah, it's like a, um, I think they said 10% chance, and it happened twice to them, and I'm just like, at that point, fucking oh, leave them in. You are fucking Wolverine, <laughs> goddammit. Stop regenerating your fucking tonsils. <laughs> Respirators and os... os uh, Oscilloscopes. Thank you. What did they do to me? Well, apparently they shoved a breathing tube down your throat, which, which fucking hurts what? when you remove it. Which, by the way, why would you hook up an oscilloscope to a person? What's an oscilloscope? An oscilloscope measures um, waves, like electrical and radio waves and stuff like that. Like, like that's how yeah. you can see like the difference between like DC and like AC power because you have the alternating back and forth. And a oscilloscope just measures like wavelengths. Like there's, there's no reason you would hook that up to a person. Oh, thank you for the rave party. Oh, yeah. uh, did they take your eyeball? They took my eye. Oh my god, she has freckles. I'm not making that obvious joke. Of course, this is the character animations are actually pretty good so far, especially for a game that's an early access. Yep, they took your eyeball. Wouldn't that hurt? Oh wait, that's right. Oh, yeah. The eye has no feeling. It's the nerves around it. Yeah, but you still hurt like a motherfucker because they had to cut that thing out of your head. Yeah. It's be it's basically to measure. Oh, it measures the heartbeat. Oh, oh, it oh, that's what they used to have those hooked up to. That would make sense. Oh, I, really I remember like using this a game so far. The only reason why I say that is because I remember in high school I I had to use oscilloscopes for. Uh, doing, you know, measuring waves and stuff like that we used to do with electricity, but I guess it could be used for a heart, too, yeah. Oh, God, what have they done to me? That's actually a proper reaction. Also, screaming bloody murder would be the next one. Who could have done such a horrible thing to my... to me? Why? Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Someone takes my eye, I'm getting a knife and getting some payback. You had to wear a kick-ass eye patch. Look, look. I don't care if it's kick-ass. Took my eye, you're get. I'm getting my revenge. I'm saying you just before you go on your revenge trip, you need a kick-ass eye patch to go with it. This is true. Today is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> 
After all the suffering we have endured in the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she's returned to me. I don't like this. She looked at me with her eyes wide, as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. This is, that is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid of the glass, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I did not think this event to have some meaning or other, so I am not superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. You got possessed kids there, dude. Or psychics. No, I'm thinking more along the lines of the two creepy little girls from The Shining. Do we ever figure out what the heck was up with them? Um, Stanley Kubrick designed, uh, the, the only thing, glimpse that we get into, like, their past, really, is we have that little kind of jump cut they do when they show them in front of, um, the little kid there, uh, and... They show the cut when they're like strewn about the room and like covered in blood. So presumably they were like murdered inside the hotel at some point. They're spirits that haunted. Everything you see in that movie is supposed to be a spirit of somebody who was once in the hotel that died there. Like even the weird thing with like the dude in the dog suit. I was the guy about to bring out. that up too. That is one of the most bizarre scenes in horror history, and nobody understands what the fuck it is. And I'm pretty sure uh, Stanley Kubrick put it in there to troll with people. Considering what I've heard about Kubrick, yes, I believe that. Also, I still love my favorite story. Um, the little boy from that told was um, when they were making it. Yeah. Apparently, Kubrick wouldn't let any of the kids on set during the horror scenes, and he would tell them that it was a drama. So they didn't even know they were in a horror movie until years later. Like Kubrick was crazy about that. He didn't actually want to scare any of the children. Which well, I think that's the other thing, too, is at the, at the time, he had two young children. That, well, maybe not young. They probably were teenagers by that point. But he had had children that were of his that were in his movies. In 2001 A Space Odyssey, his daughter has a cameo in that um, when she was younger. I think she was like five or six. And the, the, he's had he probably had his kids on set with him there, too, because it was a good vacation spot. So he used to always... He, sometimes his wife would show up and stuff, too, I'm pretty sure. So... It, that's probably why is that it, and also he was kind of a family man too so he didn't really want to scare the shit out of kids although he tortured the fuck out of Shelley Duvall in that movie to the point where she lost her mind afterwards yeah and Jack Nicholson was always crazy I kind of wish we could have gotten 2001 A Space Odyssey with um, Tezuka doing this, the um, designs for it because apparently it would, have been, it would have been very interesting to see what his take would have been on that type of a future it, yeah. it would have been a, a, definitely an interesting amalgamation unfortunately the studios got in the way of that well it wasn't just that Tezuka himself couldn't afford to leave his studio because back then like mangakas weren't were, they were popular in you know Japan but they didn't make a lot of money like like now. Right, but I, I, th I thought under the circumstances, I thought Kubrick even offered to pay him for for what well, I mean, pay him handsomely for what he would have would have done. I think it was more along the lines of the studio also didn't want him as well. I didn't hear about the studio, but I did hear from Tezuka's son that he really wanted to be there because he apparently he liked Kubrick's movies, they liked each other's stuff, but he just could not take off of working on his mangas and everything, and he said he couldn't leave his studio for a year. And I think most yeah, of it was, no. too, he didn't want to leave his family, even though they probably would have came. But apparently yeah, what he the, did was uh, Kubrick sent him an early copy of the movie and the soundtrack. And apparently he would play the soundtrack nonstop when he was working in his studio after that. It's a very good soundtrack for a film. Oh, yeah. I, I want to say Kubrick liked, of course, Astro Boy, and I think he liked uh, Tezuka's... Uh, Metropolis, which is the, fun, the my favorite story. I, I that know that. I, I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure he's mentioned he mentioned at various points about about Metropolis. I think that was one of the things. Yeah, and Tezuka actually never saw or didn't see Metropolis when he made the movie. It only seen the poster and fell in love with the poster. And they couldn't get a copy in Japan of the movie because of the war and everything. So he wrote what he thought the movie was just from the poster. And that's the movie we got from Tezuka, yep. which I think is very interesting compared to the original. And I like the original. I just, I love that he saw a poster and he came up with his own story. 
Also, I, I'm kind of a nerd for Tezuka and Kubrick. <laughs> there is a film by Kubrick that I've never seen that I actually kind of want to, and it's one of his first films he ever did, which is a weird thing about, like, soldiers and, like, abusing people and stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a weird movie, but I've always kind of wanted to watch i got to look up the name of it. I haven't heard of it. I know it was I like before to... he did. It was before he did Spartacus. I think it was like '54. I like to fuck with my friends and show them Clockwork Orange, because the reactions are always amazing. Especially when they get to the scene I'm thinking of. I would assume. Oh yeah, when, I, uh... I've, I've walked out of the room during the. I, okay, I purposely showed that to a friend of mine who was acting all macho and stuff. He's like, I read the book and da da da. And I'm like, okay, have you seen the movie? He's like, no. All right, it's got I think Malcolm or Roddy. Fuck, human dowels, so I can never remember which one. Yeah, it's Malcolm. And he's like, "Well, I like him." I'm like, "All right, all right, we watch." And I purposely got up and I'm like, "I'm gonna go get popcorn during that scene." And I heard the loudest fucking scream from that room. And I poked my head in and I went, "I thought you read the book." The thing that is so fucked about that scene if you if, when you're watching it is that he's singing the song singing in the rain as he's perpetrating the act and singing in the rain is a song that's all about falling in love and they used it to score a rape scene uh, yeah that that was the purpose of it and if you if you exactly seen the but book, it's fucked. the book makes that movie look tame like i i oh, have yeah, they, they the couldn't book. put half that shit in oh it's messed up an old photograph of two young twins. God damn it. It's always twins. It's always the creepy twins. Time to stow when my two angels fall from heaven. I mean, it sounds like he was a good dad at least. It sounds like he's a tad obsessive. I have a funny feeling this is going to be like a Mengele situation. Oh my god, is our dad Mengele? I mean, twins? It kind of makes sense. Can you read what time that is? I'm bad with... with uh, it looks like it is about 1.35. Right, I wonder how many people have bounced, like, nope, I don't like this. Uh, hang on. Oh, thank you for the sub, Kite. Oh, we still got a decent amount of people. Welcome. To everyone that stayed, you brave souls. It's late at night, we're gonna rant. Uh, 135, right? Yeah, 135 was, I, I believe that's what it said. Hmm. Actually, no, it could have been 1235. It may have not been past one with the, click on the clock again. Oh, you're Still. right, 12. There we go. I know. Okay. Now you get to fuck with somebody and put that on a door somewhere. And you got a pipe wrench to kill people with. I'm okay with this. Alright, now you're gonna go bash that guy's face and it took out your eye. Do not let no. shadows embrace you. What does that mean? Don't hide in the shadows. You're going to find out. What we do in the shadows? God, that movie was fun. <laughs> uh, hit it with the pipe wrench? Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, so you have to go in... Well, no, do you have to go into the item thing and, like, open the clamp on it because the clamp is closed? Can you, like, examine the... Yeah. Do you have to, like... Yep, oh, that's literally it's what like you have to do. That's yeah, neat. All right, so, yeah, you have to open it up a little bit. So, you must have to use that for other things at points, too, if it can open at different variables. So, that's neat that they're using the same tool. That's actually another way, too, that I've seen people open a door when the doorknob falls off for, like, old doors like that. Easiest way is just hook a pipe wrench up to it. Well, I'm glad you enjoy my content, Exodus. Even if you don't like horror. I, I, I'm a horror fan. I grew up with horror, so... It, it's basically the only thing I have... The only good thing from my dad was my love of horror. Because, believe it or not, like, my mom hates horror. Like, has an absolute hatred for it. I swear to God, if the deer head starts singing. Can someone... Oh, you think they'll do that in the Evil Dead game? 
They fucking better. I want that to be an enemy. Um, I think I, I just want to be able to stay away from the darkness. Darkness. No, no, no. Well, that's uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I think we got the point. You uh, died. Oh, it sent you back to the title screen. Fuck you. Oh, we have to start from the very beginning, should we? It looks like. If you want to, shoot. Oh, that's such bullshit, though. Yeah, they should have... It, it, does it say it has an autosave, or no? Yeah, it did say. I thought it had an autosave. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna. We might try that another time, but I kind of want to try... I want to commit that game, though, when it's fully finished. Yeah, I like the I like the 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 modeling and stuff with it. The uh, animations look relatively crisp for the state that it's in right now. Yeah, and you can turn off uh, motion blur, which is always nice because that should stop existing already. Darn it! So we're gonna do a couple more games if you're okay with that, Mike. Yeah, I'm good. Can't auto save if you just start the game. Yeah, but we had gone a little bit into it. We'd solved a couple puzzles. Let's see. Nope, that one will get us absolutely banned. I'm trying to find one of the ones. All I saw was the name Succubus. I'm like, okay, I understand what that is. <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, that one's cute. I, I have to show you that one one of these days. And I wanted to finish a couple of the indies. I just have to figure out which ones I need to do. Oh. Uh, let's see. Do you want to see Murder House? Yeah, sure, why not? This is done by a group called Puppet Combo. They make good games and they but they're games I have an absolute avulsion for. Uh, they, they like to do tank controls. Uh right I, I understand why you hate it. But we can still look at their games. I'm I'm not I'm not hating on them themselves because I actually really like how they do games. This they is might a, do their own. Okay, this is like old VCR type stuff. The Outer Limits. This is a, uh, an after school special. So there we go. Oh! It's the one. This is either. They used to do like live action things, right? So this is like. You actually get to see the scene played out by actors? No, I wish they did. That would actually be amazing. What was that game that came out for like I think it was like the Sega Genesis or something like that where you could oh, like night, um, night, night yeah they are kind of inspired by those type of games which is not the one I've tried do you want to do the prologue or do you want to do the full murder house it's all up to you I'm good with either we're jumping into this shit alright now as I've said I, I like Puppet Combo, and I know they've been getting better. They've actually been working also as a publisher, and I've done one or two of the pub of the games they've published, and they were really, really good. Their big thing is like an 80s-style looking game. Also, 88, so I would have been... almost two. I would have been negative three. <laughs> Fuck you, child. Looks like we're here. Looks like we're here. Oh, I'm very low. Let me fix that. Sorry. I was moving away from my mic because I'm, I'm I'm getting tired, so I'm kind of doing my spinny thing. You, this place. I can't believe I went from the news desk to this. Hey, look, we found the bitch. You must be really helpless happen. after the incident with the poodle. By the way, you can hear it just fine, right? Yeah, I can hear him. Okay, good. That could have happened to anyone. All right, let's get started. We don't have all day. Where the hell is the real estate agent? Waters? Oh and my god, that dude's just... To shoot this story. There's his car. Where the hell is he? Hey, Inter. What's your name again? Emma. Yeah, Emma. Make yourself useful and find us a way in. 
He's Why is there a greasy porn director there? Why is Velma director. breaking into the building? This is literally the worst day to start this internship. I pulled a tendon at track practice and I don't think I can run for very long. I believe this game is also still being worked on. Once my stamina drains, I'll have to take a break and walk it off before I can run again. I'm going to fuck with the sound. There we go. Also, Foley. Nice touch. I think I'm gonna fuck with the video. Can you turn the. The cover reminds me a lot of. Uh, you ever seen a movie called The Mutilator? Yes. I actually really love that movie. That is a that is a very underrated eighty slasher film. I need when we're at Spooky Empire, I'm gonna go broke, not from autographs, but there's a dude that sells really, really rare DVDs. And my dumb ass didn't pick up a certain amount of like certain DVDs I wanted to grab, and I think he actually had that one. You just tell me this man. I, I will introduce you to him. He was very, very nice. Oh god, no. Oh god. Okay, here's something the, fil the filters are the filters are horrible. Rental. See, here's the thing: oh. I grew up with VHSs, and this is what kind of annoys me about these: is you never really got this kind of an issue with the with the um, effect. The like only this. time the only time you got shit like this was with like home movies and crap. You didn't you didn't get it with like professionally done VHS tapes, like you, unless you ran them until they were freaking almost dead yeah like I, I was about to say unless they were running re they were really ready to break I did that the gremlins off, though, so I can actually see shit I did oh, that the gremlins oh you gave me tank controls you I mean you said they gave you tank controls I don't know why you're shocked they themselves out of that no wait camera dolly Actually, that might be a lot easier. Oh my god, it is. Thank you. Oh, god. okay. They give you a camera that's first. Okay, so see, they did fix it. So if the people want to still have tank controls, they can. See, I'm, I've never opposed the tank controls if you give an alternate to it. Because for some reason, my brain cannot work out tank controls. It's never been uh, able to. Honestly, I don't really like tank controls at all. Because, especially with shifting camera angles. I know the first Resident Evil did that, and I can barely play that game. The first Silent Hill did it too, and I have the game, and I adore Silent Hill, but there is no amount of money that's gonna get me to play that again. Oh god, that effect. Yeah, that is... okay. Is there another way in? Yep, you gotta, you gotta pull 10, then you can't jump off the, uh, like, foot and a half tall deck. Walking, I'd be like, screw you people, I'm not gonna start the internship. Or I've done that thing with, uh, what is it? Uh, is it rolling your your ankle or something where you, like, when you move your ankle a certain way, it just, it, stop, it starts hurting for a good while? You mean when you crank your ankle? Yeah, when you sprain your ankle? Like, yeah. you, it, when you roll your ankle, usually your, your ankle goes to the side and cranks to one side. Well, I mean, to be fair, one of my because of the fall, one of my my foot actually points permanently to the side, and it freaks people out. I used to, <laughs> during marching, I used to fuck with the sergeant majors until they figured it out, and I'd act like I was I kept getting hurt, and it, they like I didn't have to march because of that. And then they finally figured out what actually was going on is that my foot's permanently like that. And then they tried to make me straighten it for marching, and it does. And then I would actually fall on my face. Looks like the uh, greenhouse is kind of flooded, or has noxious gas. One or the other. I mean, you know, normally your greenhouses are filled with, you know, green plant gases. Is that a shame As they do. No. no, you gotta be inside. Can I climb through the basement? Oh my god, I can. Oh, there you go. You're gonna find a stereo player. I've always wanted to try climbing through a basement window. It's not fun. It is. I'm gathering you've done it a few times. 
Well, see, here's the thing is most basement windows don't just, unless it's, you're in like the city, like New York or something like that, most of them do not open. So in order to get through them, you actually have to break the window. Ooh, I thought they all open like that. But again, I'm mm. used to the New York ones. Res residential ones usually do not. Oh. Like the ones in my house are permanent. They don't move. Yeah, how are you going to feel when you come to a place that's not allowed to have basements? Uh, perfectly fine, because basements suck. <laughs> Especially when they get fucking flooded. Ooh. Don't people usually turn them into, like, um... Like, TV centers or something? Yeah, if you have, like, a basement that you can do that with, but you need a really good, uh... Usually you need to have the, the, the entirety of the home should be above, like, the base water line, and... Usually, you also want your foundation to be, like, sealed to fuck in order to do that. Because if you don't, then you're just going to start... You, water's going to start seeping into your walls. Ooh. I've had that happen. That happens here a lot. Like, the problem here in Florida is um, moisture because of how humid it is. So you have to be really careful. You can get black mold like, like that. It's insane. And trust me, you'll you'll know when it's black mold compared to other molds. You'll know. I encourage you to climb through a hundred windows. Be nice, Kite. I like the closest I've gotten is to having to use my hand to break a car window and then climb through it, which thank Christ that, that the way that glass breaks. Still hurts though. Still hurts a lot. <laughs> An average fuse box. Wait, I think a fuse is missing. That is an older fuse box, I think. Wow, I mean, this is supposed to be, what, 1988? Yeah, so that would make sense. Yeah, they didn't start doing breakers until, like, the mid-90s. Yeah, what's weird is we have two fuse boxes here. We have a, one that has breakers and one that has fuses, and I don't understand that. The reason for that is because the fuses are probably the old fuse box that was with the house because it's it's really easier if you don't really care about it to just leave that in and then the breaker is probably for the main power to the house because it's probably only a two a two breaker breaker or like maybe four i think so like i i I've, i i try not to fuck with electricity yeah, a lot of the times they do that so that, um, because if you don't have the breaker for the main power and you get like a power surge, you can blow out your breaker box completely or your, uh, your fuse box. So that's why you have the breaker box for the main power, because if that flips, then your fuses are fine. Oh, like we, it's outside too. Like one of them's outside. Well, I think also the reason is this house has, um, a dad on on it. And I think that the, could also be something too. Yeah, that could be if, if it was an add-on that was done later on when they had uh, breaker boxes. That might be what that is. I know it freaked out the electrician because some of the wiring is apparently braided, which is apparently yeah. Usually, I think there's usually you use solid core for that. Yeah, he said the braided one is from at least the 1950s. If not, what the fuck was that? Hold on, I think we might actually have to put an effect on. No, that one. Oh, that's actually neat. Okay. Okay. Why are you guys being so... Okay, chat, be nice to each other, you two. You two are weird tonight. I get the weird crowd late at night. Thank you for the bits, Kite. I love you. How you doing? We're gonna, we're gonna do your game tomorrow, by the way. We're gonna do the letter tomorrow night for you, Kite. So you get more of the letter. I feel like I've heard of that. It's um, it's a horror game that started out on mobile, and it's got a PC port. It's really, really good. It's from the Philippines. Full okay. voice acting and everything. And the ghost scenes are actually kind of creepy. Seems something shiny at the bottom. I can't reach it. So. Alright, so you need some kind of an item for that. I'm assuming you can open the door. Uh-oh. Into the blackness. Did we go backwards? We did go backwards. The only thing I really hate uh, about where I live is my washing machine is outside because that's how whoever lived here before set it up and I want to kill that person. It's like outside without covering? No, thankfully the um, the handyman set up covering, which is really nice. 
and he even put a door, but it pisses me off just because it's outside and I'm used to having, you know, the washing machine in a room inside. And that's an expensive washing machine. The only reason I can think about that is they didn't want to put the installation for it on the inside for some reason. Come on in, guys. Good work. You got in. Did you see that goddamn real estate agent? No. The house is empty. That bastard. I should have given you the 50 bucks. I'll take the 50 bucks. Ew. It's musty. What do you expect? Shop, shop. It's time to hustle. Grab all the equipment in the van and get it in there. We're gonna set up. I like the design of the house. Why, why, why are you being, like, screamed at by some, like, greasy Italian mobster guy? Because he's the director. It's like a news station. It's like a report on an old house. It, it's called the murder house, so... Yeah. Okay, so now there's Sir, people in various smoke places. inside the house. That's not good. You go fuck yourself. Don't smoke inside the Hurry house. up, would you? I got money on the bucks tonight. I want to catch the game. The bucks. Oh my god, he's Floridian. The bucks are Floridian, right? Yes. He could also mean the Milwaukee Bucks. Why are there two teams that use that? Because one's in the NBA and one's in the NFL. Oh. I don't know sports. I only used to play them. I will, I will. Wow, this is a cool house. If you say so. Is it? You started searching through the boxes for any valuables yet? I hate every second of this. Okay. I'm gonna go exploring now. I hope all of you die. Except the cameraman. Cameraman seems cool. Cameraman, chill. He just wants to take pictures of shit. I better bring the equipment in first. Fine. I, I roll my fucking ankle or break my tendon and you fuckers make me carry shit. Florida man. What about Florida man? You can't summon I've done that with a sprain. I've done that with a sprained ankle before. <laughs> so have I. I've had to actually move with my leg hurt. Actually... I actually ended up getting a Charlie horse, and I had to carry the wash. Yeah, the, the, those do suck. You gotta work your way through them. Yeah, and Mika wanted to play, so she kept jumping up on that leg. Uh, oh, thank God she's uh, trained, because I just gave her the order not to, and she stopped. She, yeah. she thought she did something wrong. In fact, she can run with this stuff, because this is filming equipment. Uh, it depends on how good this production is. There could just be a couple of handy cams in that thing. Hope this hard work right. pays off. You know it won't. It's an internship. Hey, we're gonna set up the GoPros in the kitchen. The 1988 GoPros, which are like the size of a fucking mountain. Yep, exactly. It's just like the cell phones. I used to have one of those big ass Sears cameras. The shoulder mounted ones? Yes. Those yeah, I, I had one of the. My dad had one of those when I was a little kid. I stole my mom's. I wish he I still had that thing. He didn't. We didn't have the original one though. It wasn't the one with like this separate pack where you had the actual tape recording stuff in. It was the one where it was all. It was the second model where they had it all in one unit. I think I had the same one. Did it come with like a big? black case like a really really huge one yes it was like a fuck it was like a massive case for like a for like a power tool or something yeah okay so we had the same one i love that thing so much hurry up would you i got money on the bucks tonight okay. i want to catch the game i guess i'm bringing in more stuff but like i miss that thing terribly i used to use it all the time i used to film everything when i was little it's like a fucking it was like a like a rocket launcher. You could just like mount it on your fucking shoulder. Right? It was great. I really don't know what happened to ours though. And it's bugging me because I I, I, like, I don't really love that thing. I don't remember what happened to the one that we used to have when I was a kid. It's like they always vanish and you just never see it again. Well, I mean, I know where it probably went. It probably went in a dumpster at some point. I just don't know when. No, there's no way it's done the store. The case might be in the storage unit because you could just use that to move shit. Never want to 
want to do this again. You don't want to. I find, I find it funny that people always throw out like the VHS related stuff, but everybody always keeps the Super 8. <laughs> I still have a bunch of my VHS. I actually have to go through the storage unit, so if there's any VHSs you want, bar my Little Mermaid and the one uh, from uh, John Wayne, can, you can have them. I don't even have a way to play them, so... Yeah, I gotta find a VHS player. I actually have at my grandma's uh, Beta Betamax. Yeah, I think you mentioned that before. You had the Betamax player, which is fucking... That, that thing is probably worth some money. Yeah, and tapes, including the original Universal um, Phantom of the Opera. The silent one? Yep. Because they did do two. They did do two black and white versions. I'm pretty sure they did another version, actually, with Lon Chaney Jr. later on in the '40s. I believe this is the very first one, but I'd have to double check if it's even still there. It, my my grandma might have sold in it by now. I, I don't know. Wow. It was my this is a cool house. That that dude's just stoned. He's out of it. Yeah, no. He's the camera guy. He's seeing colors right now. What are you waiting around for? Turn on those lights and let's get rolling. The power's out. We'll turn it back on. I don't know how. Figure something out. Pay me, fucker. You're the intern. You're the bitch. Do this for free. Look at the cameras. Or the lights. Yeah, those are like old school film lights. It's weird to think that you can now just easily buy them. Uh, Not the I old mean, school can... ones, but I mean just camera lights. You can go on like Amazon and shit and buy that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, but you, if you actually want to get professional ones, they still cost an arm and a fucking leg. Yeah. Like, what was that? What was talking about? Just the light itself is six hundred dollars. Yeah, that one was that one was fucking ridiculous. And then the the camera that he was that he was talking about like filming on was like. The film version is like 85 grand. Jeez. That was one of the things I remember him telling me is like, if film, movies are like one of the things, like, if you fuck up, like, you are just boned. Like, the thing that you're carrying is worth more than what you're getting paid in a year. Can I get to that last one? No. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've always kind of wanted to mess with, like, modern cameras and stuff like that. I need whip to film a movie so I can steal his camera and so I can play with him. Yeah, I don't think that's necessarily a great idea if you're going to be working with a camera that's thousands of dollars. <laughs> Let me hold it. Well, look at us joking around about him, uh, about him doing it on, uh, on a, on a, um, cell phone. Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, hypothetically, you could film a movie on your cell phone if you wanted to. I just don't really like the look of digital. There's, yeah, I'm the same way. There's a, there's a, I thought there was a horror movie that was released that was completely filmed on a cell phone. Like, it was supposed yeah, to be well, a I mean, thing. Yeah, it, it's the big thing because it's a cheap way to make movies so you can cut down on equipment costs because you don't have to buy an $80,000 camera. Uh, and it also is a bit more versatile i guess you could put it in different scenes but the problem is that you need to have like the equipment to set it up for stabilization if you don't have that then it's just gonna look like a shaky cam image the whole time yeah like they did they did a movie um that i actually really liked it was called hardcore henry oh i remember hearing about that but i haven't seen it i've seen it a few times it's a fucking great action movie i love it if you ever want like it's a movie that takes the, the the entire thing is from first person perspective. So you are the main character and they make it work. Uh, hey, it's Jerry, the real estate agent. Looks like someone broke the lock on the basement window and got in the house since the last time I was over here. They stole the goddamn fuse, so the power is out. Don't worry. I know there's another fuse around here somewhere. I left the front door open in case I don't hear you guys drive up. Just shout for me when you get inside. And between writing that and us actually arriving at the house, he was brutally murdered by something. Yeah. Why do these people lock every drawer? It's weird. I don't know. How, how do you have that many locks on the drawers in a kitchen is my question. I've never seen never. locks on a kitchen drawer. Well, I've seen locks on a desk. Yeah. You took the pencil. I I got a pencil. Yay. I, 
Now you can stab people. Yay. I was leaving outside. Let's see. <laughs> it's the Resident Evil transition. <laughs> it, oh, okay. So you're in a different area. There's, a green, there's the That's greenhouse. The so when I can you get in the greenhouse? Well, no, it was locked. Remember, we had to find the key. Oh. I don't think the, the pencil will do that. I wonder if we can use the pencil as a fuse. No, it would need to be something conductive. I'd still also, try uh, Also, I wouldn't advise jamming a screwdriver in there unless you want to get electrocuted. Being electrocuted isn't so bad. Please, nobody do that. It is when you plug a screwdriver into a main power junction that has enough amps to fry your heart 20 times over. The worst I've done is work on a wire and somebody plugged that wire in. While that I was holding it. Smart. That per did that person do that on purpose? No, it's the it's the bad thing about living with people that don't hear very well is when they ask you if you're done and you say no and they don't hear it, you get to find the shock. Three or four different well, I see, times. I, I thought it was just somebody being a dick. No, 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 they weren't being a dick. But I was about ten and I learned how to fly. Couple of times. I've been I've been shocked so many times it doesn't really affect me that much anymore. I've already got the fuzzy hair. It can't do much more to me. What the fuck do I do with the pen? Oh, it's for saving. Oh, okay. So that's how you say. So how do you use it to save then? You have. To, I'm assuming you have to write it down in a book. But what book? I have to find. I've got to find that, and I've got to find the fuse. So they're definitely cop. Oh, okay. So we have a, a VCR and a TV. Well, let's no power. that. We'll be able to sell that in a few years. A TV, a TV like that in 1988, that thing was massive for back then. That oh, was a large I television. I actually had a TV then. like this up until so I got in the house. Did you ever have a TV that was smaller than that, that had a VCR, like, installed in the television? Yes. I yes, I had one of those as I well. I had the old regret. analog money ears. I left it at the house that I used to live in. I mean, I was planning, you know, to go, go get it after the move and stuff. When I went back there, they had smashed it. Ah, fuckers. Yep. Along with Did you ever have the portable on. ones? The analog ones that would pick shit up in black and white? It was battery powered, looked like an old cell phone, you could hold it? No, but I always wanted one of those. I always thought those were the coolest things. I used to fucking watch baseball on that all the time. Oh, that's awesome. I always wanted those in, like, the portable DVD players when I was younger. It was a big I, thing. I, I had one of the portable ones. Those things were good because you could get the wires to hook it up to the television. Oh, see, I always, like, I always wanted one of those. And they it, they were always just so expensive. Like, when I worked at Radio Shack, I always messed with them. I was like, God, I'm going to get one of these one day. I remember I had one of the flip ones that you could use in the car. Like one of the ones that was uh, just like a single disc thing, but you would just flip it up like a laptop, and there was a screen. Yeah, it was like right when it was like right when digital screens started to become really popular. Okay, now we're in I, the I've study. Got, I can't find the stupid thing. So you're looking for the fuse. The note said that they know where the. F in, the I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Tell him about the note, maybe he'll say. Get something. the power on. We don't have all day. Well, no. I'm guessing that's where it is. But I gotta figure out how to grab it. There's not many rooms I can go in. Can you use? What do you have in your inventory? Pencils. Just pencils. Okay. You don't have your. Uh... All right. Yes, same. No. Can you check the cabinets? I checked them. All I can get was like the. No, no, no. I was asking if you could. Uh, I didn't know if you could check the ones above. That's what I was trying to do. Come on, let me have it back. Hmm. You, lady, you want to come in there to hide? Go for it. I got another set of cabinets up there, too. Yeah, she just ignores them. Bitch. <laughs> There's also a key rack there. I didn't know if there was anything on it. Yeah, now it's empty. Let me go check the basement again. Yeah, it's possible we missed something down there. If not, we'll move on to the next game. Alright. Alright, so you got your fuse box. I mean... 
you could rip the fuse out of the washing machine, but I don't think that's the same thing. Wait, can you can, can you do that? No, I mean, not in the game. I mean, in real life, is that a thing you? Can no, do? you 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 really couldn't because it's rated for two totally different powers, or especially because you have to hook a washing machine up to a I believe it's a two hundred and thirty volt. Uh, usually, uh, no, it's a dryer. You have to hook up to like a 230 volt outlet. It's like a special install in order to actually use it because it requires more power. Oh, see, I've never really used a uh, dryer. I just hang my clothes like a barbarian. Cabinet is locked. I don't like that there's so many places for me to hide. Okay, there's definitely something I'm missing. Did you go back through that misty door over there? The misty door? Yeah, that one. Right. Or does this just lead back to where you were? Yeah, it just leads back. I say maybe okay. we should move on. Uh, yeah. I mean, that, that that's up to you. But uh, I do like the aesthetic of the game. It is interesting looking. Yeah, oh yeah. We could always come back to another day. Yeah, that's true. Was, was that you or the game? Oh, it's the game. That was the, I was going to say, that was the game. That was not me. <laughs> Please adjust tracking for best picture quality. Oh, God. Most people don't even know what tracking is now. I still remember the, the rewinders. Yeah, I used to have one. I had I had the cor the red the, the little red Corvette one. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, the one that looked like a car. <laughs>